Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to be talking about using uh, flight plans that I've created on uh, different tours in the videos. And uh, basically, I've made them available to all of you. So if you see uh, you know, one of my tours going on, um, from now on, I'm always going to be having the PLN file, you know, the plan, the flight plan file in the descriptions for you to download yourselves. So what I've done is um, I've spent some time you know before each flight to really map out where we want to go to, to get the most scenic views and the most interesting flights um, so I do it in another application and then what I do is I just save it as a .pln file which is a flight plan file for the simulator to understand and read so basically you just upload it into the menu so what I'll do is um, I'm just going to walk you through the process so then when you actually want to do it and download it you'll know what to do um, I'm showing off my icon A5 again I love the chrome livery on this anyway so I'll just drag in my YouTube video. So uh, this is one of my, this is the Mount Fuji tour. So what I've done is if you just look at the description and you can see, um, you can download the .pln file here. So what you could do is you just go in there, click on the link and it'll take you to the file. Okay. And then you can just download it there. And then what you need to do, you need to go into the simulator and you go to the world map. And here you've got the map here, so you just zoom out a bit. Now I'm in Japan, that is for the Mount Fuji uh, tour, so I'm in this area anyway in the map. But it doesn't really matter, it doesn't matter where you are, it'll still work. you just got to go to uh, Load Save at the bottom. You can save flight files.flt and pla uh, flight plans.pln. Note that .pln files will only be saved if you have a valid flight plan, which we have. You can now, uh, so you can load flight, file, uh, flight files and flight plans at any time. So. Any time, of the, any time of the game, you can load these flat, these plans, which is great. So load, you uh, browse to where you saved it. I just put it on there on the on the uh, desktop next to my audition, which I'm using now to, to record my voice. I click OK, click Open, and then uh, you can see now that the flight plan is there. So I did Katemba Airport to Katemba Airport because it was around Fuji. So the Fuji was up here, Hakone Lakes down there. So uh, Flight time with the Icon A5 is 40 minutes, 87 kilometers, for example. If I switch aircraft, so if I go to, let's have a look, uh, aircraft selection, and I go on a Robin, for example, and I go back, it's 26 minutes. You can see that. So it, it, the great thing is the simulator changes the flight times dependent on what, you, what you're going to fly which is great because it obviously helps you understand, you know, gauge things better. So this is basically it. So it gives you like the highlighted blue and it tells you the waypoints on the nav, on the nav map in the plane it will, depending on what you've got, if you've got a Garmin. And then that's it. So basically that's how you load uh, a .pln file. So again, when you go into the, into the video, you can see the description. It will explain to you exactly how to, how to do that. And uh, hopefully you can enjoy the same flight that you just watched me do. So you can actually, um, you know, see things you want to see at your own pace. And when it comes to community flights, it's going to be a lot easier sharing it with you guys when I'm streaming um, from when we actually do the flights. So, yeah, hopefully that helps. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you about your ideas of where you want to go or anything else you want to see on the actual channel. And, uh, yeah, I look forward to hearing your comments. And if you've got any questions, just let me know in the comment section. And um, yeah, I look forward to the next flight together. I'll take it easy, guys.